I don't have it. I just don't have it. And sometimes I don't, I'll hold off on making a video because at this point I feel like I feel like a broken record, honestly. I really expect it to be 100% by now. I feel like I was heading in that direction. I don't know if auditions got really busy too soon and just like depleted the little resources and energy that I that I had built up or I don't know what happened but um, I, I can't I can't keep keep up this pace I can't, I can't do it hey it's me NJB today is not going the way that I expected something in my eye. Yesterday I woke up and I was feeling really really depleted and um, my my sister is working as my assistant now and I just told her three auditions came in and I don't know how I'm gonna do it like I'm trying to drag myself out of bed to get them done and she's like maybe you need to just do these and then book out like tell your reps that you're not available to work until you get yourself together and I'm like let me think about that I don't know and then and last week my therapist told me the same thing here this this is what I'm putting on my face right now I put this in my t-zone I don't know why I'm I'm stalling I keep thinking I'm gonna come up with a solution but the truth is that I'm I'm really burned out here's what I just put on my forehead I have a line on my forehead that I <laughs> And I, I tricked myself into believing that this is going to help. So, yesterday, I got those three auditions done. Uh, I did a good job on them. And then I spent most of the day lying on the couch, napping, and just, like, looking at the ceiling. And then in the evening, I ordered Chipotle, and I did a little abstract pen and ink drawing because art is like therapy to me. It relaxes me. So I went to bed and I was like, okay, tomorrow's a new day and I won't set an alarm. I'll just get up when I wake up and then I'll, whoo, I'll do some of this laundry that I sorted two days ago and haven't been able to get to. It's like all over the place. It's all over the floor. I got little piles of sorted laundry all over the place, which is trifling. I slept until like 11.40 a.m. today. Oh, I didn't show you these other products <laughs> that I'm using here. This is, this is my, my moisturizer. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's great. This is what I'm putting on my, this is like my, my lip balm. And I'll, I'll put these in the description box so you, you can, you know, I mean, there's nothing to see, so you don't know if you like it or not, but, <laughs> but, but it's what I'm using and it's what I like. And so I got up this morning, checked my email and there was a, uh, an email from my agent, my commercial agent saying, Hey, I sent you an audition. And I'm like, where, you know, I looked, and yeah, sure enough, audition, 3 p.m. today, virtually, virtually. Um, so it's not a self-tape. Thank God I don't have to go drive over there and be there in person. And I still need to earn about, you know, just under $7,000 in order to keep the insurance that I have. The, the end of the period that I have in, in which to earn that money is September 30th. And so I was like... Let me make it at least until then. But today is August 21st, and I don't know. There are people with, with jobs um, far more demanding than mine. There are people with issues, health and otherwise, more challenging than mine. And I really try to keep that in mind. You know, just keep things in perspective. I'm using my my hourglass immaculate foundation I love this stuff oh shoot you know what I meant to do oh, I'll do it backwards I forgot <laughs> I'm talking and not, not paying attention what I'm putting on my face I wanted to conceal these raccoons <laughs> that I got under my eyes but I'll just I'll do it later there are people who have um, other people to take care of you know 
It's like, I just got me. I have a job that's... I'm not going to say it's not, it's not as easy as a lot of people. <laughs> a lot of people make it out to be, oh, you're just an actor. You know, you just say lines and walk or whatever. It's, there's a lot that goes into this career. And there's a lot that goes into sustaining a career over time. I've been doing this um, in Hollywood professionally for 16 years. I started acting in college. So it's been a long journey. But even looking at what other people's obligations are, it doesn't diminish the fact that my tank is on empty. Empty. E. Big E. Big red. Uh, light flashing. And, and I gotta pay attention to it. So now, I'm getting ready for this audition. And I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna give it everything I have. But then I don't know how I'm going to be afterwards. I did not intend to get up this morning and, and have to put on, on makeup. Um, I didn't even take a shower. I was like, ain't nobody in here with me. So, like, you know, I was going to in my own time. But right now it's like, I'll get the shower after this audition. I'll look clean. <laughs> That's trifling. It's all, it's all trifling. My whole life is trifling right now. And on one hand... I feel like I want to apologize to everybody who has to encounter me right now on YouTube or in real life. I'm not around people. Like even my friends are wondering, you know, where are you at? Like I have friends who like to talk on the phone. I don't like to talk on the phone. Really, I do not. But I'm not going to see people in person right now. And that's another thing. Some people are like, hey, let's get together. And I'm like, let's let's wait so that we can live long enough to have time to get together all of that so <sighs> I think my friends think I'm going off the rails which I may be I may be but I really I feel like the only thing that's going to stop it is for me to completely disengage I don't think toxic positivity and having people say oh you're fine that just pisses me off which I do get that sometimes you know oh you're fine oh it's all gonna work out we don't know that. Can I just tell you what I'm experiencing and how I feel about it? Can we do that? Like I <sighs> Thinking positive does not mean ignoring what is actually happening. Do I think things are going to get better? Yes. Yes, I do. Are they great right now? No, they're not. They're not great right now. So, so now I've made an angry video. <laughs> But hey, this is the real. Oh no, my battery's going dead. Okay. All right, I'm back. I knew that battery didn't have much juice left in it, and still, I uh, <laughs> I forgot. Where, where am I right now? Look, I'm a mess. Um, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Jesus, help me. This battery's dead too. What did I do? All right. All these cameras I got now. I'm back to filming on my phone. Anyway. <laughs> I have no idea what I was talking about. I'm just, I'm just living foul right now. I've already put my, <laughs> put this correcting concealer on and uh, foundation in the wrong order. Here, now I'm gonna put this other concealer on. Laura Mercier, secret concealer for under eye. Secret concealer, Oop, can we see this? I don't know. It ain't a real camera. This is where I am today. This is not where I want to be. It's not where I'm always going to be, but it's where I am today. And I think it's important to allow people the space to say that. You never know what somebody's going through. Have you heard the saying, the show must go on or on with the show? We learn when it's time for you to perform, whether you're on camera or on stage, honey, on with the show. A performer pretty much has to be half dead uh, in order to pull them from in front of the camera or off the stage and I'm, I don't want to get to the half dead <laughs> situation so I need to pull myself and get myself together there's also a concern that some of my reps uh, like I'm, I'm friendly with all of my reps but I'm not friends with all of them 
for some, some I have become friends with because, just because we have over time. And I've been with most of them a long time. But I feel like booking out, again, is going to make me look flaky. Especially to those reps, like my voiceover reps, who I haven't been with a long time. So that concerns me. But then I wonder, well, why am I concerned? You know, if I go away and I come back when I'm when I feel like I'm I'm fully menti mentally and physically healthy, and they don't want to work with me anymore. I mean, I can find other reps. <laughs> I do. I really like the ones that I have, but it's not like, you know, they're the only game in town. I have options. I have a good resume. And I'm usually reliable. Any of my friends would refer me to somebody. So I don't know why that's such a big concern. Okay, now I'm getting a storage low message on my phone. I'll come back with my camera. It doesn't take long for the batteries to charge. I'll see you in a minute. Now I'm back on my GoPro. <laughs> Uh, I had to delete everything off of the memory card, but it was luckily it was all backed up to the cloud. All right, let me do some with these eyebrows. My regular viewers who leave comments, I really, I really appreciate your comments. You know, so many of you can tell me you're praying for me, which which I thank you for. I really thank you. Some of you have given me, give me advice. Some of you have shared your own story with me. We just encourage each other. And so on days like this, when I'm like, should I really be filming? <laughs> like, should I really be on YouTube right now? Should I really? Like, I, I wouldn't be out in public right now, you know? I wouldn't, even if there wasn't a pandemic, I wouldn't be hanging out with friends like this. I don't like to do that. I have one friend who really doesn't understand. Um, you know, it's like, well, if you're feeling bad, you know, call me, come over, whatever. I don't, I don't want to. I want to get myself together. And that's just, that's just how I operate. Like, I don't, why be in a bad mood and go, I mean, I, it helps some people. I understand that it does. Um, it helps the extroverts, <laughs> especially, you know, you're in a bad mood, go hang out with some people and then you'll feel better. But I like to get myself together first. If something's going on, I want to address what's going wrong. And um, and then I want to have fun hanging out with my friends. I don't want to be a drag. And I feel like a drag to myself right now. So then I go, well, shoot, should I even be doing YouTube videos? I don't want to be a drag to y'all. Um, but it could be helping somebody. And um, I trust you all to tell me if I was a drag. <laughs> and you keep coming back and watch. So... So hopefully there's some kind of value in it. And just me being real. Things, you know, I've had good days on here where I'm like, hey, today's a good day. This is what's happening. But right now, honey, I'm just like, where is the nearest exit? <laughs> you know, stop the world. I want to get off for a while. I ain't trying to get off permanently. But, you know, for a while, can a sister get, just, just get off this merry-go-round for a minute? Y'all know what I'm saying? You ever have days like that? I know it's not uni unique to actors. I know it's not unique to people who are <sighs> recovering from, you know, some sort of ailment. I know. Like, sometimes we just, we ain't got no more. Ain't no more. Ain't got no more to give. Uh, I need to fill my own cup. <sighs> and I'm just going further and further into the red. This is just... Some setting powder. Oh, I'm gonna show y'all what I've been using. Hold on, hang on, hang on just a minute. I powder my face a lot. I tend to get oily and so it helps me. Okay, so the blush that I used was um, Sleek Cosmetics. I've had this forever. You know, they tell you, you're supposed to throw your stuff away every so often. I'm throwing my stuff away. <laughs> Because it takes a long time to go through it. Why would I throw my stuff away like every three months or every six months? So, I ain't got skin disease from it yet. So, I think I'd be all right. Sleek Cosmetics. I really like this stuff. This is uh, 
Blush by Three. Pink Spirit is the name of this, this little compact. I've had it for a while, so I don't know if they still sell it, but if you like it, that's what I got. And, Lord, I had this so long, I can't even tell you what color. Wait a minute, hold on. Let's see. Does it say? Oh, yeah, I can. It's a little sticker on the back. This is what I love to use as a um, as a highlighter. It's e.l.f. Cosmetics. You can't tell because the, the letters are like <laughs> gone. The shade is uh, Apricot Glow. Yeah, I'll put on some eyeshadow. Paint this face, baby. I'll do a little something. Can't do too much because I am doing a commercial audition. And you know, commercial auditions, they're not all painted up. And people in commercials tend to look natural unless they're like um, a certain type of character that's usually being made fun of because commercials want to relate to their buyers, you know? They want you to recognize yourself in those characters. Again, unless they're being made fun of, unless they're the one who didn't buy the right product and so therefore, you know, we're gonna paint them up like a clown or <laughs> make them look stupid or whatever it is. That's how it works. And I always blow that excess off. I don't know. I guess, you know what? Uh, makeup artists tend to tap. I'm glad they don't blow on the brushes and they put them on my face. Now let's get some eyeliner. I want to travel. I got to get this vaccination situation squared away. Yeah. I think at least for a while I need to do nothing. I need to do, I need to just fill my cup. I need to read. I need to listen to things that are good for me. Good podcasts. I need to uh, avoid the news. Oh, it must be two o'clock. I set an alarm for two. Hey, Google. Hang on. Sorry, I don't understand. Stop. Lord. I can't believe this is what my day has turned into, honestly. had to put it a little more forward than I normally do because I have those cornrows going across right here. Um, but normally I would put it a little further back and, and leave a little bit more of my, my hairline showing. So this is what they're gonna get today. I'm gonna put on some earrings and some pants. <laughs> I got no pants on. And uh, I think that's it. Then I can go get set up in the living room. All right. The reason why you see that that arc at the top is because my GoPro is hanging from the top of my ring light. So this is this is my ring light. You're inside of it. And I am about to log in to this app called Blue Jeans. That's the name of it. I don't know why. This is for commercial auditions. So it'll give you an audition code and you click it and then it opens Blue Jeans. And then you're in like a virtual waiting room where you can see and talk to the other actors and actresses. And, um, and, I, and sometimes you see like your friends there. And then you get called into the room, the virtual room, and then it's you. And sometimes there's another actor or you know more actors, but usually it's just one person, you, the actor, and the um, casting director. During the callback, the director is also there. So, um, I'm gonna let you all see the process. I'm gonna leave this running. Let me think, see how much 
yeah, I should have enough like memory and battery, but I'm probably gonna have to like speed it up or blur out the sound because I'm not allowed to disclose uh, the specifics of auditions uh, for obvious reasons. It's 2.49 right now. My audition is at three o'clock, but I'd rather be early than late. Plus, right now I'm, since I know, okay, it is, it's showtime. It's like all my energy reserves <laughs> that I have. I can feel it right now. It's like, okay, all right. Now I got my energy. It's showtime. Let's get through this. Really, I have no gas in the tank. So, join with the app. And here we go. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm glad I could check what I look like because what I wanted to have happen did not happen. trip myself on one of these tripod legs. So I haven't clicked the button that says join meeting yet so nobody can hear me. I don't know. I don't think they can see me either but see I gotta be like decorating and stuff. Let me bring you in closer. Because I need the ring light closer. Okay. I think I'm good. All right. That look cute. <laughs> I am joining the meeting. Currently seven people waiting to audition. I can see everybody. Oh, okay. I'm good now. I was sideways. This man ain't got no shirt on. Y'all, I don't know what's going on, but I'm seeing people in their houses. One of them ain't got no shirt on. <laughs> I need to. Okay, I'm getting text messages too. You put yourself on mute again. Nicole, can you hear me? Yes. Can you yes, I can. Okay. Okay. All right. Hey guys. Hi. I just, well, I need to. Um, I'm, I'm gonna have to give you the direct link because it's just it's just not working. Yeah. Okay. What do I do? I'm gonna text you. Hold on. I need to get the. What's your cell phone number? Three one zero. All right. I'm gonna tell you when to hang up and use it. Okay. I got a text message. Okay. I will do that. Should I hang up now? Wait one second. No, I'll let you know. Okay. I'm reversed on your cameras for the most part, so just your left hand. Start out of frame on the left, and I want you to just, you're going to run in and stop where you are. This is both buzz and type of repetitors. You're going to come in, you're coming around the corner, and just boom. Brightness comes back to your face, and you run off to the right. Cool? And like, if you're alone, I know this is cheering alone. It's like, and they don't teach it at Juilliard, sorry, so all you guys didn't learn this. It's super important. Go for it, and like, you can like, fake high five people near you, that looks fun. Just like, have some fun with it. Imagine in the spot, it's going to be like, you know, a couple hundred people that are all like, out there like, woo, yeah, like, and that's how quick it needs to be. I'm not going to make you cheer for like 10 seconds. <laughs> cut it. Okay. All right? Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. Right now, guys, in and out of here quickly. New people who just walked in, I'll come back in in a couple minutes, give you an explanation, and get you back to the weekend party. joining them as a bus passenger. So we're going to go three at a time. I'm going to do a couple and a pa bus passenger. Okay. Hi. Hey, everyone. How you doing? <laughs> Good. Edward, you in my room? Mm-hmm. I love you. Very great. All right, y'all. Perfect. 
Um, Alex, I'm gonna need you to angle up that camera a little bit more. I'm losing your head. Alright, stand by. Great, I'm gonna get a three shot at one. Looking right at the camera in three, two, and one. Alright, gotta do slating. Nicole coming your way. Hey! Picture coming in three, two, and one. Hey, tell me your name. Hi, I'm Nicole J. Butler. See your hands, please. Other shots? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Perfect. All right, here we go. Boom. 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 First scene. Edward, you're on your phone. Nicole, you're looking up at the monitor in Times Square. Alex and Annie. Eric, I'm sorry, you are looking up at the monitor as well. I will just get some lines. I just want you kind of reacting to that. Cool. Alex, take a half step back. Still losing your head just slightly. Sorry about that. Right there is great. Yeah. And action. We done.